Tungban Tabam giving you the news, now the news in detail. The Manipur government draft policy of the Manipur said policy on substance use 2019 has come under mounting pressure as alleged gender bias is evident in the draft policy. The draft policy is useless if it does not have a separate provision for women, many have suggested. The draft policy has garnered attention from the masses who do not want it to be another hollow policy. Here's a report. Drug users often face social discrimination even if they return to normal life. Manipur has widespread drug problem and the state government has introduced the draft policy, the Manipur State Policy on Substance 2019 to tackle it. But loopholes have been detected in the draft. Retired IAS officer R.K. Nimai suggested for integrating gender into the draft policy. Draft Manipur State Policy on Substance Use 2019 Hai dana draft amma Thwee Thok pa si dee si da Akhoi na sum Mwoi na feedback peer ukhul uwa na Fajik ti mwoi ki Social Welfare Department ki website da thangat le Adabu unfortunately Principal Secretary da feedback si comment or suggestion Di pibir uwa hai raga Akhoi ki email e dhiyas hapak te Adabu na Hoji ki COVID ki matam si dee si da paperless Oiro Paper we tra transfer to ronu, koi ki digital we na transfer to digital format transfer to hari si desi asi yorok tap si na kamen piwa kan si desi amna khutong cha da bakhara atom lay. Masi ma masana koi ki consent pi dragadi laying we yaro ya na amna core etik we krawa mi sing da di masagi decision si lobong amda bakan si moidi laying aroi dra ay bi question nama atom lay. Obviously, the drug users, both male and female, are stigmatized in the society. Even though the government has introduced the draft policy for drug abusers, the female drug users are unlikely to get any benefit, sources said. A woman abstinent demanded inclusion of certain provisions for them in the new draft policy. <laughs> Fifteen bedet lay ama mamda. Shida sometimes adam koi na tham gain sa lubo ka nda. Hoji ti shi thang dree gumba. Do me am se hanjan hanjan thing nar. Shi gumba me am se lay banana hoji drug policy ma same doi bagi tarapa kung kang se shi gum yam nungai se adu bu loi na loi na adam nupi matang shi da katang meeting chang chang bira ka kani policy same ba shi da yau bi hong na ba na media ki thong da apil thong dree. Yuan ba, ada lagi tu ba cai ba tau ba, anai na tau bagi mahuk ta, adam cai ba mi tu lagi, panah ba, imung manung lai raga, imung manung ga club tu ba, mai apa bi, kena bi raga, adam panah ba tau bi ba, mui lain sangat tinggi ba, adu pam. It is quite evident that while making any decision, the society tends to make male centric choices, in spite of the gender equality claim. Saya ini, napa na? Tak, aku ini high di high ko, aku ini dia nupi the freedom yang pi, lagi samada nupi ke role yang nasi awi koli hari kerja. Decision making ni step sila kan sih dah nupa ngakron low eh, nupi johan de. Even adultery tau re, nupa am tu maru kok de, nupi tu saya maru kok pi. Ado na nupi si aku ini property way na u bagi wakan si kujik su tu hong bengam de ya. Anak drug tu drug ki Si yolam me, natri kas cara me, na pah kan, jadi pi jadi itu target tau ni, baru kau puni kang dia, mungkin tau ni, ada kongkoi ni, ada tau ni. Jadi ki base di rehab ta thin biva. The volume one and two of a book entitled Media in Manipur were released today at the Harak Chan Agarwal Memorial Rotary Auditorium located at Mantri Prokri in Imphal. Ahibam Koyring Singh, Sukdev Sharma Hanjabam, K S H Chitrabhanu, and Sandam. 
Hanjabam, edited a book published by Intellectual Forum of Notice, Intellectual Forum of Notice, All Manipur Working Journalists Union, Amju and Editors Guild Manipur jointly hosted the book release function. Lok Sabha MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan Singh, Director IZNTU, RCM Dr. N.G. Nalingam, Honour of the Sangha Express, Nishikan Singh Sapam, President of Editors Guild Manipur, Khogendra Khondram, President of Amju, Bizoy Kakting Tabam and President of Manipur Hills Journalist Union, Ramkung Panme attended the event as Presidium members. On the occasion, MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan stated that the Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the book dedicating to the first Chief Minister of Manipur, Maharaj Kumar Priyobrata and late senior journalist Kalen Thokchom are well deserved. He also added, Manipur was the first state in the notice to publish daily newspaper. Dr. Ranjan asserted that the level of journalism in the state has reached a significant level because of the effort made by the past journalists. I pray to God to continue without any stoppage. Works Minister T.H. Vishwajit, Education Minister T.H. Radhesyam, Agriculture Minister V. Hankalian and Social Welfare Minister Nem Chakib Gain have returned to the state after a Delhi visit. The four ministers left Imphal on July 17 for Delhi. The ministers had said their visit was to consult central leadership for firming up the BJP-led coalition government in the state. Upon their arrival at the airport today, the four ministers refused to comment anything when journalists inquired about the Delhi trip. Amid the rise in coronavirus cases, the district magistrate of Thabal district and Bandana has imposed prohibitory orders restricting movement of people outside their residences with immediate effect in the whole of Thabal district. The order comes after the exercise of contract tracing and for the screening of the increase, increasing number of COVID-19 positive cases among the primary contacts who are residents of Thabal in the last few days. Transmission si amu kerja ting bunga mana ba, kau ingat si tadi hau na total curfew kau ingat whole district hau balik sikit kau ingat post tau zere, adu ba ayam zere kau ingat ni beri ba, mewah kau ingat makta abil tau zere ni beri, kau ingat kerajaan apa kerja zere ba, thabak sing si perza di cooperation yang mana kau ingat thabak tau bung ngaji tau bana ti, kau ingat bayam na kau ingat tau zere bas leda, zere sahaja pibiu, adu ba max upiu, adu ba thabak satu orang kau matam jasa, kau ingat sop, zere na kapiu. Initially, several places of Thabal district were declared containment zones by the district administration to prevent spread of COVID-19. Through a release today, N. Bandana, the Deputy Commissioner of Thabal district, informed that all main markets located within Thabal district will remain closed with immediate effect until further notice. And Bandana also ordered residents of Thabal Kuno, some areas under Moising Gram Panchayat and Hairok Part 3 to not step out of their homes with immediate effect until further notice in view of the alarming situation in the district. Manipur's novel coronavirus case count rose to 1,925 after 14 fresh cases were confirmed in the last 24 hours at the Viral Research and Diagnostic Laboratories VRDLs of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, RIMS, Imphal, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences, Janims, Imphal and District Hospital, Thobal. According to COVID-19 Common Control Room, the new infected patients are from Imphal West, Kamjong and Thobal districts. The number of active cases in this state now stands at 605, while 1,320 individuals have cured as of Thursday, as of Tuesday. The report also said that in the past 24 hours, 85 patients were discharged from COVID care centers across the state after they tested COVID-19 negative. Well, it's time for a short commercial break. Do stay tuned. I now we feature single in a lecture that's ready go. Distinctive LED DRLS, 20-inch, 32-centimeter infotainment screen, smart drive auto, 
स्पेशियस केविन फ्लेक्सीबल स्टोरेज केपेसीटी इंटुटिव रिवर्स पार्किंग एसिस केमेरा स्टार्टिंग प्राइस थ्री लाख बुकिंग की दम से मगलें आईलें निशान कांजीपुर नियर स्टैंडर्ड रोबर्ट हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल कम्पिटिटिव सक्सेस एकाडमी की क्लास इलेवन टूव सैंस की एडमिशन होजरी पीजरीब खुदा जून जून फाबद एडमिशन तौरप क्लास इलेवन सैंस की अहब महिरो एडमिशन फी चाद यांख ताजगनी बोस एम लौब एग्जाम चाद मरीफू सी बी एस इन लौब एग्जाम चाद मरीफू तरह की मधक् फंग महिरो एडमिशन ट्यूशन फी लौजरो स्कोलरशिप पीजगनी चाद हूंफूदी हूंफू तरह मंगा फाव फंग महिरो एडमिशन तंखाई तमक लौजगनी लाइक लेम फंगनी क्लास टूव मिंग चनब की दमक अटोप बोर्ड तगे क्लास इलेवन पास तौरब एलिजिबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट पाई महिरो मिंग चनब की खुद चाव पीजरी अकूप मोरल की दमक कॉन्टेक्ट तौर कॉम्पिटिटिव सक्सेस एकाडमी उरीपो खोसनाम लेकाय इम्फा कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर सिक्स नाइन जीरो नाइन वन नाइन 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 सिक्स वन नत्रग एट नाइन सेवन फोर सेवन थ्री सिक्स थ्री नाइन वन नत्रग नाइन फोर थ्री सिक्स टू एट एट थ्री जीरो जीरो नत्रग सेवन जीरो जीरो फाइव एट नाइन टू थ्री वन वन वेलकम बैक आफ्टर द ब्रेक The COVID-19 pandemic has severely affected the tourism sector in Manipur due to which many of the individuals working in the sector are facing hardships. Many proactive and well-educated individuals and entrepreneurs in the state have taken a big initiative in improving the tourism sector and finding ways of earning income by setting up beautiful gardens and parks in different parts of Manipur. A team of Tom TV visited Sadu Chiru waterfall located around 20 km from Imphal city under Sadar Hills district today. Sadu Chiru Chiru is one of the attractive tourist spots of Manipur. It shows the beauty of nature at its best. Unfortunately, since the lockdown was imposed in March this year, people have stopped visiting the spot now and many of the residents whose income depends on the tourist spot are suffering a lot. On the other hand, alarmed by the rapid surge in COVID-19 cases, residents around the Sadu Chiru waterfall have appealed to all to stop visiting the spot until the lockdown is lifted. मैं कोविड नाइन्टीन की मरम से खा जूम थोपीगनु मैम की दमे फनब गोमें सिंब से मैं नाकनी है मैं पोगनी A swarm of unknown species of grasshoppers were found at the hilly area of Tarang Chingol Yaripo Khoram on the Thobal district. Reports said this unfamiliar group of grasshoppers were for the first time sighted in Manipur. creating apprehension among many that the insects could hamper crop yields in the state talking to reporters howba meghachandra singh a local expressed concern that the grasshoppers might attack the paddy fields located nearby he urged the manipur government and experts to look into the disturbing situation hoji ki kogjeng asina lairami ba mafam asiga lauga fit kun manga kun tha mukta ni lapna rise adu bu masi kari guma mari lainaba department singna लौद मंगन तब या पोल नग कमायबूक्त थीदोपीरगी हेन यामखलक्री मनुद मांगी लंबी तौब डिपार्टमेंट की मफम है Ten stranded Myanmar nationals studying in Shillong were ferried back to their country via Mori after proper verification at integrated checkpost Mori today. The Myanmar nationals were handed over to Myanmar authorities at Myanmar Friendship Iron Bridge. Additional Superintendent of Police Moray Law and Order Sangboy Gangte, Senior Immigration Officer Y Krishna Anand, ICP Manager Robin Gangte, SDC Moray and officials of 43 Sam Rifles Moray were present during the event. Finance Secretary of Lilong Hauribi College Students Union Muhammad Saddam Khan today said that the union will lodge a formal complaint against the college principal to the concern low vigilance anti corruption cell for alleged misappropriation of fund and misconduct he condemned the principal for suspending three union members without any prior notice the union has also demanded a white paper on the college welfare development program 
Saddam Khan threatened that admission process for 2020-2021 and other related college activities will be banned until the concerned authorities take action against the principal. Bangta took Hamanga to Thun twenty da two lakhs forty thousand six hundred forty four gis hem from RTJS Kikutang the Piramle. Principal Amadimaga Wakalon Manava Oza Kara Ga Committee Semjin Semjin Laga RRG Wang Bada College the Tika Tauzuna Laire Hari Boza Singh as a Manipogova Menas Hatra Satri Sida Mahi Tambina Tavira Kibra Natraga Tika Tanova Tavira Kibra. Dr. S. Surenjit Singh, na Quran Jibo Paisagi, Proof and Evidence Kaloinana, Unendi Kutta Lajere, Masida, Manipur Governmenta, Aten Mamatam, the meeting Sanguid of D. Unenamadi, Student Singa, Wakal Makakaya, Kongen Tansin Jarani. Coordinating Body Kurai observed its fifth foundation day today at its office, Kurai Lamlong in Imphal. Kurai Pana Apunba Singh Lop, Vice President Kamukcham Nabakumar, Kurai Chingang Bamlekai Gram Panchayat Pradhan L. Kananbala, Apunba Nupil of Kurai President S. Muktare, Coordinating Body Kurai Advisor and Ingo Chairman Y. Gozendra and members attended the event. During the event, winner of R.K. Sanatomba Memorial Journalist Award and Tom TV Deputy Editor Nabakumar Kagopam, Best Activist of Coordinating Body Karai T. Serabanu and six position holders of Council Exam 2020 were also felicitated. Spokesperson of Coordinating Body Karai, Bon Kurai noted that the body has taken active participation in hand handling major issues of Manipur including ILP. Bon expressed gratitude to the people for extending support to the body during the COVID-19 pandemic. I can identify the I can identify the eco tore, young human tore, Sanjay Lok tore, Moro Ivon tore, Gualtavi tore, Aduga Moran Kuring is the Jatina politicalized tore, Madame de Sangu Marbova, Emilizika, Akoka, Kanatom Norakodeki. I couldn't sell over to the final. Faculty members of Enlightened Knowledge Higher Secondary School Sangakpam Imphal today felicitated all position holders of this school in the Class 12 examination 2019-2020 conducted by Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur Kosim at this school campus. The school has done well in the examination securing 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 6th, 7th, 9th and 10th positions. Chairman of Bhubon Technical and Skill Development BTSD Private Limited, Naurem Nabachandra, along with Bhubon Brickfield proprietor Naurem Nopur, today donated tin roofing sheets to Palel Market on the Kaching district. The marketplace is one of the main income sources of many residents of Kaching, Technopal, and Chandal districts. According to our Kaching correspondent, the aid came after failure of the state government to look into the dilapidated marketplace for a long time. Talking to reporters, Naurem Nabachandra expressed concern over the bad condition of Palil market and a short of providing workers to place the old tin sheets with the new ones. He also a short of taking up developmental activities in Kakching constituency with support from the public. <laughs> ไม่ตบอมาดิอะคุยอ่าวะคันนอยตบอยู่ในฟีลิ่งเลยมาละมาตุนาเอนีเวเมนีเวตอรอกะไอ้คุยเพจเพจเพจ 9 Altogether, 78 volunteers of Upako, Card, Wabagai and ward members of Wabagai organized a mass tree plantation drive at Wabagai today. Go Green Mission Manipur brand ambassador Valentina Ilangbam kicked off the tree plantation event. 250 saplings were planted along a 1.5 km stretch of a roadside in Wabagai area. Forest Rens officer Kaching provided the saplings. 
National Vector Bone Disease Control Program and VBDCP launched long-lasting insecticidal nets LLNs, to ward off malaria in Noni district. The program was held at the DC Office Conference Hall, Noni. Dr. Jet Kamei of the VBDCP told media persons that in the first phase, long-lasting insecticidal nets will be distributed to malaria-stricken villages like Longliban, Makhuam, Okoklong, Tingong and Thangal villages on the Noni district. Autonomous District Council ADC member Noni Circle, Zino Kamai, Subdivisional Officer Noni Namlalung and Chief Medical Officer Noni Dr. Edwin Golmi were also present at the event. We had come a family, family the next Sai 1, Sai 2, Sai 3 lay. Sai 1 is in a me amagi. Sai 2 is in a me anirika ahum. Sai 3 is in a ahum nige meri manga hawa. Tumma imung shida ahoy na benes vishti se. Head kamu hoy na imung da pigini. Adu hendo, thoy do hendo na. Awa ba chinda kanagumba mi yam nere di. Adu ki hemni diki hena bi ba chui. According to the Akwena Nethi Exe Hengjinna Laibu Oregi Atom Pigi Nihaga Akwena Thawran Doctor Let's have another short commercial break. Stay tuned. Downtown University Jahi Manghan Biganu Atom Gi Ichabu Jahi Manghan Biganu Not as India's most placement driven university Ama Oediba Assam Downtown University Gi Admission Houseri Pandemic Asigi Yeng Laga Online Class Su September Amadi Gi Houseri Gani Engineering, Paramedical, and the Allied Course sing the main champion in the singer. Assam Downtown University Admission Office, Babu Para, Bosem, Infal, Lerak, Talak, Piduna. Form Law View, main champion, and the Tana View. Nang nang medical tama sa pado. Asia ugin nang nagtahang bala ini. General Nursing and Midwifery GNM three years course. Twelve pass in Arts or Science stream in confused to become a part of one of the most respectable professional career of all time. Twelve pass in above duration three years six months. B S C in Medical Radiology and Imaging Technology D M R I. Ultrasound M R I C T scan X ray. B S C in Medical Laboratory Technology B S C in Operation Theater Technology. Welcome back. Inner Line Permit ILP has reactivated from today in all designated offices and police stations across Manipur. In this regard, H. Gyan Prakash, Special Secretary Home Government of Manipur, issued an order. Around 16 non locals were found entering Jiribam foreign check post around 4 30 pm today after the state government issued a new notification to resume the issuance of Inner Line Permit ILP after four months of suspension due to the COVID 19 pandemic. A two-day training program on organic practices of crop production under Paramparagat Krishi Bikash Yojana PKVY was held today at Tupul ICAR Manipur Center organized by Krishi Bigyan Kendra KVK Tamenglong. Dr. Narendra Prakash, Joint Director ICAR Manipur Center, Dr. R.K. Saraswat, Program Co-Coordinator KVK Tamenglong, SMS of KVK Tamenglong and Selected Progressive Farmers were also present during the training program. Around 30 farmers of Noni area attended the program. Dr. Narendra Prakash during the program appealed to the farmers to take initiative in the field of agriculture to increase crop yields. We have to work hard and hard to serve a more for farmers community. So farmers can happy also and then your KVK will have a name. You know, farmers they are coming for small things they are asking. You give like a solution like a technology or some import and farmers are very happy. If you bring, bring like a one or two farmers each SMS as a happy farmers, then like a great achievement for this KBK. Moirang Kendra Progressive Front felicitated four meritorious students by presenting Ibuda Uri Special Meritorious Prize Award 2020 at the Friends Office, Moirang Film Lekai today. The award carries rupees 10,000 and a solar lamp. During the event, social worker T.A. Santi said that the scoring high marks and scoring top positions is the most important platform for the students for their future career. He also appealed to the parents to help choose them a career of, of their interest for a bright future. <laughs> Nihal 
These seven sister states in the notice are likely to experience widespread rains in the next three, uh, three four days, the Indian Meteorological Department said today. According to reports, Bihar, West Bengal and Assam will also see heavy rains during the period. And Delhi, Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, UP will continue to experience isolated heavy rains during the next 24 hours. As per sources, after five days of continuous rainfall, the intensity is set to decrease significantly across North India. Assam floods, which have affected over 24 lakh people till now, resulted in one more dead yesterday. Golpara, the worst hit district, has affected 4.59 lakh people, followed by 3.37 lakh in Barpeta and around 3.35 lakh in Morigaon. In Assam, 85 people were killed in flood-related incidents and 26 died due to landslides till now. Himachal Pradesh received widespread rainfall in the past 24 hours, with Dharamsala recording 62 mm rain. As the second wave of flood hit Assam, the Brahmaputra River was flowing above the danger level in Dibrugai yesterday. According to a media report, the river was flowing at 105.79 meter against the danger mark of 105.70 meter in Dibrugar, while the forecast was a rising trend in the next, next 24 hours. Many areas of Dibrugar were affected in the second wave of flood which brought miseries for the poor people. Rongmola village under Balijan Gaon Panchayat, Lizai Kalakhua were mostly affected in the flood. Meanwhile, Dibrugar Deputy Commissioner Palab Gopal Jha gave approval to 18 schemes submitted by the Water Resources Department under the SDRF scheme for flood containment and relief measures. Among the schemes are flood and erosion control measures in various areas of Dibrugar district, including Romoria, Bindhakota, Mulugao, as well as reconstruction of flood damaged government buildings, homes, embankment, and PWD roads, the report said. At least 13 people, including 11 border security force, BSF Jawans, have tested positive for novel coronavirus in Mizoram in the last 24 hours, taking the state's tally to 297, government sources said. According to media reports, a statement issued by the State Information and Public Relations Department said the newly infected patients, all males, were confirmed at Zoram Medical College, JetMC, out of the 133 samples tested last night. The newly infected patients also included a civilian and an Indian Army who were already admitted at JetMC, it said. Reports further said that, bearing the army personnel who returned from Jammu and Kashmir, all the patients are asymptomatic. There are 129 active cases in the state, while 168 people have already recovered. With no end in sight for the Ashok Gelot versus Sachin Pilot, Slugfest in Rajasthan, the Chief Minister's camp will hold a legislative party meeting at Hotel Fairmont in Jaipur, where they have been staying. This comes as the Rajasthan High Court resumes hearing in the petition filed by now SAC Deputy Chief Minister Pilot, who is leading a group of 18 dissident MLAs. According to the reports, the pilot camp has challenged the disqualification notices sent by the speaker, maintaining that voicing dissent does not amount to defection. Meanwhile, Gallot's public outburst against pilot yesterday has virtually dashed hope of reconciliation with the rebel leader. Congress indicated that pilot has been in touch with the leadership and efforts were continuing to pacify him and get him back to the party fold. However, some party leaders feel that Gallot calling pilot names and going public against him in the media has dealt a huge setback to the party's effort at reprisement. Senior party functionaries said the, leaders, the leadership does not approve of adverse remarks against anyone, including political rivals and has issued an advisory to leaders to avoid personal comments. 
The next phase of the clinical trials of the experimental vaccine being developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca against the coronavirus disease will see if the immune response seen in the early stages protects against COVID-19. As per trial results published in the Lancet Medical Journal, the vaccine called AJET the 1 triple 2 was developed by Oxford University's Jenner's Institute and licensed to the multinational pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca. According to trial results, the COVID-19 vaccine prompted no serious side effects and elicited antibody and T-cell immune responses with the strongest response in, in the people who received two doses. As per media reports, lead stage trials are underway in Brazil and South Africa and are due to start in the United States, where prevalence is higher. The project has started phase three of the human trials to assess how the vaccine works in a large number of people over the age of 18 and how well the vaccine works to prevent people from becoming infected and unwell with COVID-19 sources. said. The center has written to all states and union territories warning against the use of N95 masks with valve respirators by people, saying this do not prevent the virus from spreading out and are detrimental to the measures adopted for its containment. The Director General of Health Services, DGHS in the Ministry of Health, in a letter to the Principal Secretaries of Health and Medical Education of States, said it has been observed that there is inappropriate use of N95 masks, particularly those with valve respirators by the public other than designated health workers. The DGHS referred to the advisory on the use of homemade protective cover for face and mouth available on the website of the Ministry of Health. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top news headlines once again. Dodgers detected in draft policy of the Manipur State Policy on Substance Use 2019. Level of journalism in Manipur has reached not for the level, says MP Ranjan. Four BJP ministers written to state after Delhi visit refuse comment to journalists. And public curfew imposed in Thobal district after search in COVID-19 cases. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.